Once you have locations added in Ventrack, the next logical step is to group them all into routes. We're going to do that in this simple demo right here. As you can see, we have three locations added in Ventrack right now. We're going to group all three of these into one route. First, we just go to Routes and create a new route. My new route. And click Add, Add New Route. Now, what you want to do is click on the name of it and start adding locations to your route. So I'm going to select all of these three locations, click the arrow, and add them to the route. As you can see, now that they are added to the route, they are no longer listed as available to add. So now we want to make sure we set um, Chinese restaurant to be the third location we go to. The gas station is the first one. The local pizza place is our second one. And let's set the new order. Now as you see, you have gas station number one, local pizza place number two, and Chinese restaurant number three. And they show up here on the map as part of the route. Once you have your route added, something that's very handy is the route service sheet. You can find that under reports, and then route reports. We'll create a route service sheet for my new route. We also want to make sure we know which key number to have, so let's show that on the route service sheet as well. Let's show the hours of operation report. Now this is a report that you can print and take with you when you service your machines. It has convenient places to jot down any miscellaneous notes, how much was collected, and how much product was added. Once you come back to your office, you can log into Ventrack and you can go to your dashboard and do a quick service for your route. Just select it and you'll go to the screen where you can type in all of the information that you just collected. You've got the name of the person who serviced the, serviced the route, the day it was serviced, and then notes for your mileage. You can also add in your odometer start point and end point and calculate the number of miles. Then you would just go in and add the amounts collected. $50 here. We added two bags or two units of M&M peanuts, one unit of M&Ms, and three units of peanuts. A unit is just a generic description of the size of um, the measurement you're using for your product. So in, in our case, we have bulk machines and we fill them up with bags. So our unit of measure is bags. We collected $25 here, one, one, and we collected 34 here. Two, one, and actually while we were out there, nobody ate these peanuts, so we added four bags of Skittles. And we know that the local pizza place Owner requested Mike and Ike's next time. This is a note for us so that when we, when we print the route service sheet next time, we can include the service notes and we'll know to change out the product. Then we just save these records. Just one last chance to make sure you are sure you want to do this. Click OK. And the route service is successful. Now you'll notice we can go to locations and we can just pick the gas station, look at the record services screen, and we'll see that we have $50 recorded on the 10th of October by Robert Smith. And when we look in the dashboard screen, we no longer have any services due, but we do see that we collected $109 on the 2nd. And these are the, this is the breakdown of that $109. Have fun with your routes.